Hey guys, welcome back to Rames Games for the second episode of Stone Hearth Alpha 15 in Cilia Wood. Um, we left off at nighttime. It is now daytime. Went ahead and took all the extra plants and stuff lying around in the middle of the night and shoved them over by our farm, had them placed. Put down a little box for just food and ordered our carpenter to condense a bunch of this wood into um, these wood piles. As long as the wood piles remain undeployed, they'll use those to make things. And you can see here that our day two update is not good. We do not have the wealth and stuff. I should move these berries closer and I will as soon as they're done gathering. Right now they're, in my opinion, just kind of dangerously close to bad things. It is so cool you can do this now though. Definitely one of my favorite features. And I think that was added in 14, so yeah. Obviously their texture remains the, the normal texture until they place it down realizing that, you know. Go ahead and harvest all the stuff. We need to keep up on that. Uh, these flowers are going to be majorly useful. We also need to place down our herbalist thing. And we'll go back into the stockpile management, just do all of that. Let's see what we can craft here. for a very tiny amount. Oh, this is going to be so cool and so annoying. You want five of these? Really need to start on some housing here really soon. Like right now, probably would be a good way of putting it. And what I would also like to do is set up a small, really tiny farm over here for oak trees. That way we can get those growing. But we'll get that done eventually. Really occupied with the, the turnips and stuff though. I think we're stuck on some log piles. Uh, I've got seven beds queued up and I have log piles by the way take eight. Take 18 logs and condense them down into one thing. You can do the same with clay and stone. Clay piles and stone piles that is so you can manage your city's inventory limit a little bit better. But right now 1200 is a pretty good amount. As usual, let's save the game, overwrite. Ah, uh, you just get that early access paranoia of crashes erupting. Just design a building. I'm going to leave two spaces on all sides. 58 wide, which is... Absolutely massive. I believe three spaces on all sides actually. The reason for that is we still need to surround this thing with walls. 15 wide. We obviously want wooden walls, wooden floor. Changes to it. But you still can't click on these and just change the freaking pattern. So I have to undo all that just because I want to change the pattern. It was stupid. 
Fix your goddamn game. Anyways. I could be doing something wrong. Probably. Probably just that. But I mean, you can see that nothing changes, so. Anyways, back to the walls. We're gonna want dark floors. With lighter walls. That's unattractive as heck. You can do it this way. But not for floors. Let's go ahead and get rid of the floor. Let's do this one more time. And we're, we are just going to use this floor. I've decided. Back to the 15. Use these walls. These walls look great. Wonderful. Um. Oh, it still does the, the, the magnetic camera thing. Great. I might want a second story on this, to be honest. But we're just going to shove a bunch of beds in here. That's, that's, that's all we're doing. Uh, my brain can't comprehend whatever I'm seeing. Want the south one. Raise it up a bit. That way it doesn't look so awkward. Oh, that's neat. I'd really like to have the stone roofing. I like the red a little bit better than I, I like the yellow. Texture is just—I mean, it's nice and uniform. Unlike these, for whatever reason. But I just like the red better. We're gonna do that. Slow the game down. If not, just completely pause it. We can't afford to get, like, attacked or anything right now, so. Put the windows on the side first. Just basic wooden windows. A mirror mode would be pretty cool too. Just regular wooden door. Leave three spaces between the window. That looks about middle. The reason we leave three spaces is because we're going to want to Put some torches there, on each side. There are six doors here. Why is there no erase tool on this part? God. Some things about this building editor just piss me off. Like, oh, hey, we've improved it, but it still sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, don't think any of this will make a difference. Cool. Alright, that's somewhat symmetrical. I really don't care about any of the rest of these having windows or anything. Oh, uh, we can... Probably not add those in later. Oh well. At least the roof you can edit. Nice. I think it looks really weird, but... Hey, whatever. Finished. And let's build it. Gonna be building number three. We're just shoving a bunch of beds inside of it. 
That's all we need to do. We don't need to make this overly complicated. We need chillax, we need to get more food, and we need the wealth. So, how's this going? Everything here has been completed. What we're going to do is set down... A barrel here and a barrel here. It will be for nothing but food. Pause the game because that's a bad sound. Oh. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, we're dead. <laughs> oh. Well, can't use my glasses anymore. I just touched those because I meant to touch my face instead. Ah, uh, great. Combat party. What do we have here? Move. Ignoring all intervening. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I guess defend location is what we need. But also, uh, where the heck is town defense mode? sounds of making anymore I'm just making noise y'all best be out of my my territory we can tame wolves there's a thought you kids get out of my town you hear Maybe should have built a wall before I built anything resembling a dormitory for people to sleep soundly in. Also, here's an idea. Here's a here's a great idea. Let's place all those. Get people some beds. Get them to sleep in. Oh. Uh, we can get this guy to start healing. This douchebag needs to be level 1. It'd be nice if there was a list to click on for people. Specifically on this menu showing you who is level what. Alright, let's make 11. It just takes any herb. Oh wait, is that is that a permit? Please be permanent. No. Give me permanent bo boost. Grrr. All right, whatever. Can't say that I care that much, but be nice. Be nice to encourage self improvement throughout the community. Oh, that's great. That was a great looking bug you got there. Herbalist level 1. Just got these beds so that people can sleep in them. The herbalist now has natural regeneration, which is really nice. The herbalist can basically just heal themselves. That way you don't get into a, a bind where you need two herbalists do the herbalist things. At this point now I'm just saying both on purpose because I don't know. 
I like to be annoying, I guess. Hoot, hoot, hoot. I'm an owl, hoot, hoot, motherfucker. So the stockpile does everything but food. These two stockpiles do only food. The stockpile is getting lifted. Little little barrel right here. Probably going to destroy it. Can I cancel that order? Turn it into a wealth chest. Not that we need one. Uh, no, no. No. There we go. Hitting all the wrong buttons. How soon can I make a different sword? You know what? You make you. We need our footmen to have different defenses. At least one of them. We could have, of course, put the beds in here. What we can do is put a preliminary wall around this part of the town right here. Maybe square this part off right here and have a gardener. Hopefully not a graveyard. Also, because we're at 16 minutes, and I did say that we were going to name people. I was going to do it between episodes, but I kind of ended up not doing it, so... Uh, this time around? We're gonna just turn... Turn Edwin. Hey you. I'm gonna need your name. Is he no longer Edwin Yis? You are... Cameron Sweeney. Congratulations, you're an herbalist. It is your job to keep our town alive. I don't even know if you watch the videos anymore, but that's okay. That's not really a requirement. So, congratulations on you. Oh, okay. You have great spirit, too. Good job. Good job, Cameron. All right. Next on the name list, we've got I don't even care. Uh Dara Freywind. You are no longer Dara Freywind. Congratulations to Window Water. You were probably a carpenter in the last episode, and oops, you are a carpenter in this series. Series, not episode. So, okay. Oh, also, Cameron, you have the cool hair. Do we have, like, nothing but women on this team? No, don't change jobs. Our farmer is going to be no longer Dara, Dara, Mavel, whatever the name was. You are now. Matt Damon. You didn't ask to be in this part, but you were part of the last series season thing. So, congratulations, you have made it to this one, whether you want it or not. Alright, well, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, I currently have a request in a text on my phone that I have to go take care of. It is important. And we're also at 19 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay positive, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Hopefully Not Dying here in Silica Wood Settlement. Until next time, bye-bye.